With over a billion users, Google Drive is one of the most popular cloud storage providers in the world. But guess what? It might not be as safe and secure as you think. In today's video, I'm going to spill the beans on why putting all your trust in Google Drive and some other big-name cloud storage providers is a bad idea. At the end of this video, I will reveal a better cloud storage option that offers more bells, whistles, and rock-solid security. So stay tuned! Google Drive feels like the perfect locker for all your digital goodies. I mean, who can say no to convenience and free storage, right? But hang on a second. There are some serious risks you should be aware of. The first huge downside of Google Drive is that it scans your files and collects your data for advertising purposes. When you pop your files into Google Drive, they kind of take a sneak peek. Yup. They scan and gather info for, you guessed it, advertising. Like, imagine uploading your resume and bam, you're suddenly swamped with ads that match your job skills. Or you throw up a pic of that fancy gadget you bought and voila, ads for similar cool stuff everywhere. Kind of feels like someone's going through your personal diary to figure out what gift to buy you, right? And let's be real, this is a huge invasion of your privacy and a violation of trust. Nobody wants their personal cloud storage turned into an advertising gold mine. Another downside of Google Drive is that it shares your files with third parties without your consent. One thing that greatly influences security is the location of the company. Google, which is born and bred in the U.S., has to play by Uncle Sam's rules. Now, let's take a trip down memory lane to 2013. Remember the huge uproar about Google sharing data with the NSA? Yeah, part of that not-so-cool prison program. Google and their pals claimed, oops, we didn't know. But The Guardian was like, hang on, we've got this 41-slide secret doc saying otherwise. Since then, Google has made changes to how it handles user data, but it is still unclear how much they can be trusted. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Finally, let's spill some tea on the final drawback of Google Drive. It's not so stellar track record with data breaches. You know how Hollywood celebs are always on the paparazzi's radar? Well, Google is like the A-list star that hackers just can't resist. It's the ultimate playground for shady online folks looking for their next big score. Back in 2010, Google Drive was pulled into some real-life spy thriller stuff. The Chinese government orchestrated this crazy hacking scheme using phishing attacks to get into Google's servers. They were digging for info on human rights activists. And Google wasn't the only victim. Companies like Adobe, Yahoo, and Morgan Stanley were also attacked. Fast forward to 2014. Around 5 million Gmail passwords got spilled all over the internet. And yep, that potentially put Google Drive accounts in jeopardy. 2018 wasn't a picnic either. A pesky bug in the Google Plus API ended up flashing the data of over 52.5 million users, Google Drive content included. Oops! And oh boy, in 2019, a savvy security expert stumbled upon a treasure trove of Google Drive files just hanging out in the open. We're talking personal photos, secret recordings, and even touchy stuff like bank statements and health records. And guess what? Google's search engine had some of these files indexed. How crazy is that? So the takeaway is Google Drive might not be your digital Fort Knox. Your files could be swiped, exposed, or peeped on by people who definitely shouldn't be seeing them. We're talking identity theft, fraud, and all kinds of chaos waiting to happen. On a lighter note, if you're enjoying this video, could you give that like button a little love? It's a small thing that means a lot. And hey, what's your take on Google Drive? Drop your stories and thoughts in the comments. I can't wait to chat with you guys in the comments. Now you might think that Google Drive is the only cloud solution out there with hiccups. But hold your horses. Let's pull the curtain back on two other big players, Dropbox and OneDrive. Let's dive into Dropbox for a second. It's like the granddaddy of cloud services, having been around for ages and boasting a whopping 600 million users. They even toss two gigabytes of free storage space your way just for joining their party. Plus, with all those fancy features and nifty integrations, it's a breeze to sync and share your files with the world. In 2011, thanks to a cringe-worthy coding glitch, you could have logged into any Dropbox account using any password for around four hours. Yeah, you heard that, right? Any password? Dropbox blamed it on a bug that snuck in during a code update. Talk about a security nightmare. But wait, there's more. Fast forward to 2012, and Dropbox had its name splashed across headlines again. Hackers made off with email addresses and hashed passwords of a staggering 68 million users. That's not just a breach. It's a full-on heist, affecting more than two-thirds of Dropbox's customer base at the time. Now, let's talk about another big name in the cloud world, OneDrive. Owned by tech giant Microsoft, this service boasts a whopping 250 million users and hands out 5 gigabytes of free storage like party favors. Sounds awesome, right? But wait a minute. Before you jump on the OneDrive train, it's not all smooth sailing. 
In 2018, the sharp-eyed among the tech community found a sneaky loophole. Apparently, OneDrive's fancy ransomware protection could be turned against its users. Crafty hackers could use it to encrypt and hijack users' files, holding them hostage until a ransom was paid. Talk about irony. Fast forward to 2019, and OneDrive users were hit with another curveball. They started getting these panic-inducing emails saying, Hey, your account's been compromised. Verify your credentials ASAP. Spoiler alert. It was a classic phishing scam trying to snag unsuspecting users' login deets. Oh, and here's the cherry on top. OneDrive is under the watchful eye of Uncle Sam, thanks to surveillance programs like PRISM. This means they have to play by U.S. rules, which can involve giving the government a sneak peek at users' data, often without the users even knowing. And it's not just the U.S. Any foreign government chummy with the U.S. might potentially get a look, too. All right. Now, let me tell you about my favorite provider in the cloud storage game. It's called pCloud. pCloud is nothing like Google Drive when it comes to peeking at your files. They're not sifting through your data for ad bucks. It's like that cool friend who totally respects your boundaries. Plus, they are based in Switzerland, the land of chocolates, watches, and, you guessed it, super strict privacy laws. With pCloud, your files get the strongest AES 256-bit encryption so you can sleep soundly, knowing that your digital treasures are safe and sound. The cherry on top? pCloud gives you heaps of storage space without breaking the bank. They've got monthly, yearly, and even lifetime plans. Yep, you heard me. Pay once and you're set for life. It's the dream for folks who want maximum value without those pesky recurring payments. Now here's the real treat. I've got a golden ticket just for you. Click my special link below and voila, a whopping 65% off on pCloud. But act fast. This deal's hotter than summer, and it won't last long. Loved what you heard? Smash that like button, ring the bell, and let's stay connected. Next, check out my next video on the cream of the crop in cloud storage. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out.